Welcome back everybody, the behind the scenes reel to The Last Jedi from D23 just dropped, so let's jump right in and go through it together. We see the construction of some sets, a nice view of the stone huts on Akto, Chewie getting his hair done, some land speeder type vehicles may be used by the wealthy on Kanto Bight or Finn and Rose during their mission there. Some awesome footage of that red powder that we'll see during the first order assault on the planet of Crate. Ray looks like she's put on some pounds here. Hair looks darker. She's probably just been for a swim. Poor Chewie by his lonesome self camping out under the Millennium Falcon. I like this scene of Luke here in some type of cave. I hope this isn't where he resides though. How very lonesome. Cold, not good for the bones or your arthritis. Ray tells us people will be taken aback by the story. Leia on Crate, I think. It looks like a volcanic ashen planet. Does she go to her dad's castle on Mustafa to have a long stern talk with her son? That would be pretty neat, but it's most likely Crate. Ray hands Luke his lightsaber. Mark Hamill reiterates there will be a surprise regarding the story. Finally, a scene with Kylo Ren wearing his helmet. Daisy Ridley tells us it feels more like a standalone film even though it's the second episode in the trilogy. The scene from the trailer, just from a different angle of Poe and BB-8 running towards his ship, the Resistance HQ and take a look at those two soldiers over there. They don't look very Resistance-like, actually they look like you could find them here on Earth. Interesting, some of the cast members enjoying themselves and so they should, they're in a Star Wars movie. Rey training with her staff, maybe she has to prove herself before Luke lets her train with a lightsaber. Some type of first order claw like weapon, we can see the stormtroopers using them here. Kelly Marie Tran who will be playing the newcomer Rose. Now this is cool, I love this, gives me the same vibe as when I was a kid watching the never ending story. This space horse here is called a Falfir. Animatronics for the win, some sort of crystal dog, maybe the pet of one of those wealthy people from Kanto Bight, or a crystal fox. I guess the rumours of Rey battling some type of sea monster are true. Some more interesting aliens on Kanto Bight. The one in the background must have just lost a wager. He's mad about something. Maz Kanata confirmed to be returning. Lupita Nyong'o doing some face capture for the role. Laura Dern's general Holdo with Leia. It looks like she's trying to offer her condolences to Leia about something here. Maybe it's Han's death or she's reassuring her about support for the resistance. Anyways, General Holdo is said to have an entirely different view on how to deal with the First Order than Leia does. Poe about to take off in an X-Wing. Did his X-Wing survive that explosion from the trailer? General Hux looking slick. I'm guessing he wants to outdo Kylo Ren and bring Snoke some important military victories to make up for the loss of Starkiller base and become Snoke's new favourite underling. Some fun banter about making Wookiee noises. Ray running with her lightsaber. Captain Phasma. Gwendolyn Christie tells us the characters are becoming more established. Hopefully that includes hers as well. Now, there has been criticism that they've prettied up Kylo Ren's scar, but from this angle here, it still looks pretty nasty. He's basically got a fault line running down his face. I like this scene of Luke looking like a hobo. He looks like a space Moses about to part the sea with the force. Finn in his Bacta incubator, Captain Phasma's assault with her troops, Poe Dameron sliding into some sort of battle trench. There's no explosion here, so is this a force push of some kind that has sent this guy flying? These guys are high as f- pardon my French. Well, they're happy about something and so is Kathleen Kennedy. Here's the mysterious DJ character played by Benicio Del Toro and that's an interesting hat he's wearing. If you remember those old prisoner photos with the hats, well we can just make out BB-8 here so have Finn and Rose just sprung him from prison to elicit his help or are they breaking out somebody else? It's rumoured Rose's sister is being held by the First Order. John Boyega tells us Ryan Johnson has made Star Wars feel fresh and new. I'm all for it if it's done right. After the flack they received for the First Order being a soft reboot, I'm not surprised at all. Adam Driver training against two staff wielders. One could be Rey, she has a staff. 
But who's the other? Luke perhaps? Maybe they don't want to kill him, but beat him into submission and try and redeem him? Or maybe it's part of his training session with Snoke and he has to fight with members of Snoke's elite Praetorian Guards or maybe his own Knights of Ren? The first day of shooting the film, the Kanto Bite Casino, the scene from the trailer of Poe and BB-8. Now that's how you get around in style. Looks like a first order officer driving some rich old lady with antennas sticking out of her head. I guess Ray fends off three members of the Knights of Ren perhaps? Finn meets Space Oliver Twist, a spider ant thingamajiggy, the Zerg, another interesting looking alien, I love that they're sticking to practical effects, the Porg. I like them, they look awesome. It looks like a jail scene here, could play in with what I said earlier in regards to DJ, unless it's the safe to the casino on Kanto Bight and they're there to rob the place and undermine Snoke's funding. The First Order has gone full on Nazi looking with their attire. Kylo Ren has some backup helmets to spare, someone fallen into a room with space mines of some type. Whether involuntarily or as a sacrifice for the resistance, time will tell. Ray doing some more training with her staff, a better look at the casino, I wonder if Snoke is hiding somewhere in there, mingling with the guests. Some gambling going on here, a nice shot of behind the scenes with Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher, a porg on Akto, Carrie Fisher's daughter Billy Lord, Luke being a boss, another defeat for the First Order here, they can't seem to catch a break, a nice shot of Rey in her new Jedi clothing and Finn disguised as a First Order officer. It looks like Rey makes it to Crate to save her friends and nice to see them being total buffoons and geeking out here. Finn, Rose and Poe probably discussing their next move, Kylo Ren freaking out about something, he probably just got some bad news and the Jedi warrior Rey looking all mystical here. It's about family and that's what's so powerful about it. Rey Skywalker confirmed, right? Why would she say that otherwise? I hope you enjoyed the recap with me, maybe you guys caught something I missed or feel differently about some of the footage that was shown. Leave your thoughts down below. If you would like to see me cover another topic in the future or even another popular franchise perhaps, hit me up on my Twitter page or leave a suggestion here. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, share, sub and all that good stuff. And until next time, see ya.